So welcome to module number two in our blockchain subject of the course. Now in this module, we're gonna be talking about something quite exciting. We're gonna be talking about the decentralized web, okay, or internet 3.0, and how this ties in to our blockchain technology. Briefly then, the contents of this module, we're gonna be talking about this new type of internet and what that really means. And then we're going to discuss Internet 2.0, which is the current internet, Internet 3.0, which is this decentralized version of the internet, a new backend, which is essentially the code uh, behind the functionality of Internet 3.0, then revolutionized decentralized applications and how they work on this new internet. Then we're going to link it all together by talking about Ethereum, okay? Ethereum, um, who is a company and they have their own cryptocurrency. And we're going to be discussing how they are tied into this new internet. And then finally, we're going to touch on uh, a new kind of phrase, which you may never have heard before, which is datafication. And we're going to link that to a later module in the blockchain subject of the course. So then, a new internet. Now, for us to, uh, or before we start talking about a new internet, I think it's important to learn um, about the evolutions that the internet has actually gone through. So, um, back in the early 2000s, you might consider the internet simply a uh, information transfer. Okay, that's all it really was. It was code, it was information, and it was available. And again, we've got the centralized data of that um, process. That's Internet 1.0. And then in the early 2010s, um, we, we see this kind of communication revolution happening. Okay, we, we might want to talk about Facebook for this, this example. So Facebook comes along and starts to connect the world like never before with social networks. Okay, so you might want to consider that Internet 2.0, which is the current Internet. And also we've developed things like the shared economy, like Uber um, and other applications similar. And we've got this kind of connected world now, and that's considered Internet 2.0. And the new Internet, which is Internet 3.0, Okay, is going to utilize the blockchain technology to actually decentralize the data, which has always been centralized. So we're going to flip that on its head and make it decentralized. We're going to mix in the um, new industry of the Internet of Things with our blockchain. And we're also going to look at how this um, is essentially a value transfer, okay, internet. So we've gone from information transfer, communication transfer, and now we're looking at things like a value transfer, okay, and we're going to um, learn about how tokens and our token economy fits in with this value transfer of the internet. Okay, so the current internet, Internet 2.0, the data is highly centralized by a select few, okay? As previously mentioned, Facebook, for example, okay? With a billion monthly active users, they collect so much data, okay? And this is all centralized in Facebook's um, own storage centers for their data, and it's all stored and it's all compiled and they can get incredible analytics, okay? It's big data stuff from this, um, all of the data points on all of their users, okay, who utilize their app. And again, it's the same thing with Google. Now, Google doesn't just get information from the things you search. Google has a variety of applications which they collect data on, okay? And this means Google and Facebook 
as the kind of uh, the household names of the internet, okay, internet 2.0, they almost control the data. So the users, yes, we have some rights with our data, okay. However, it's still owned and stored by a select few companies. And it goes without saying that Internet 3.0, all we have to say is it's going to run on the blockchain and we know that this is going to decentralize this data. Okay. Now, instead of transactions being stored in blocks on the blockchain like Bitcoin, it will be information, it will be data. So data will be able to be stored within these blockchains. Okay, and then later on in this, uh, in this lesson, we're going to learn about how Ethereum ties into that. Okay, and Ethereum is solving that problem. So, again, data would be securely stored on the blockchain, which is supported by a global network of users. So the people, the public, is going to uphold the new internet. Okay. Now, there's going to be multiple different ways in which this is done. Some may work, some may not, as this technology is still being developed. Nothing has actually been released yet. We aren't currently running on an Internet 3.0, but it is coming. And again, the blockchain enables a completely new infrastructure for the Internet. Okay, A decentralized database for your information owned by you, and secured with cryptography and the, the blockchains themselves will be governed by different protocols depending on which blockchain a certain application or dap okay decentralized application is being run on so then a new back end for the internet now currently we have things like http ssl tcp ip and ftp Okay, all different ways in which to, to put it simply, to code the internet and to allow the internet to talk to itself, okay, and allow data to be transferred, okay. It's going to be replaced with the blockchain, with cryptography, protocols, decentralized networks, and smart contracts. Okay, now in a moment we're going to find out why smart contracts are so important. So these revolutionized, decentralized applications, or dApps, are going to replace apps and web apps. So just like you might use Facebook on your computer, okay, that's a web app, or Facebook on your mobile device. Essentially, instead of operating those applications on the current internet and allowing the companies to own the data of these applications. We're going to be using applications which will, again, you can see on the screen, you won't even see a difference, but the technology will change. You'll still be utilizing your phone the same way, computers in the same kind of way. However, it's how the application is running that is going to change, okay, the, the infrastructure the back end of the app it's going to be decentralized your data is going to be yours and the the company or the sorry the brand of application is not going to be owned by anyone it's just going to be upheld by people who like and support that application or that uh, that dap sorry okay in a similar way um, in which cryptocurrencies are actually upheld by nodes on the network for a financial reward, there may be something similar with dApps. Okay, we just don't know at this point, but this is where it's going. Now, remember we mentioned smart contracts? Well, Ethereum, which is the second largest cryptocurrency on the market at the moment, Ethereum is working on their own blockchain technology, which allows smart contracts to operate. Okay, so which is um, essentially their coded contracts, which are self-actioning. 
they will self-execute depending on if certain criteria which is or protocols which are written in code have been met or have not been met okay and they will act accordingly and what we can do is we can actually store data okay in a similar kind of way but more so with smart contracts we can code different elements of applications it allows a completely new layer to be added to the blockchain okay so even uh, the co-founder of ethereum has said that the web 3.0 is a secure social operating system it's going to allow for social activities social applications to run not just social but all applications to run on a secure operating system and that's essentially what ethereum is is working um maybe not necessarily towards they might not necessarily want to develop internet 3.0 themselves but the technology is being created which will allow for internet 3.0 to exist and finally we're going to touch on datafication now this ties into the last module in the blockchain subject which is um, the internet of value and the token economy but datafication is the new ability to capture data from our world of things that has never been quantified before so everything is going to be connected to the internet the new internet 3.0 and with a mix of new data analytics okay as the world is becoming more advanced we're getting more and more sources of and points of data as we link that to the blockchain and we link an internet of value and a token economy to the blockchain we start to see a world which is connected like never before okay it will be a smart internet with a machine learning technology and cognitive computing okay when this is something which we have never seen before and it's almost hard to comprehend actually what is going to change and what's going to happen to the world as we become more advanced and more connected than ever to things to items to uh mobiles to devices to our homes okay all the appliances within our homes are going to be connected to the internet and that's the internet of value okay so, and that's going to feed this datafication so th items and, and appliances are going to communicate with one another so we've never seen anything like this before and that's why this is so so exciting to learn so that is it that is the decentralized web section of the course complete uh, in the next module we're going to be um, learning a little bit more about the blockchain and then we're going to wrap up with the internet of value so i will see you in the next module